Good morning, this is Friday, August 18th, and the devotion today is, Have You Ever Been Speechless With Sorrow? Again, this is Luke 18. When the rich young ruler heard this, he became very sorrowful, for he was very rich. The rich young ruler went away from Jesus speechless with sorrow, having nothing to say in response to Jesus' words. He had no doubt about what Jesus had said to him or what it meant, and it produced in him a sorrow with no words with which to respond. Have you ever been there? Has God's word ever come to you, pointing out an area in your life requiring you to yield it to him? Maybe he has pointed out certain personal qualities or desires or interests, or possibly even relationships of your heart and mind. He's put his finger on these things. If so, then you have often been speechless with sorrow. The Lord will not go after you. He will not plead with you. But every time he meets you at that place where he's pointed, he will simply repeat his words, saying, If you really mean what you say, these are the conditions to follow me. Sell all that you have. In other words, rid yourself before God of everything that might be considered a possession until you were a mere conscious human being standing before him and then give him that it's called entire sanctification that is where the battle is truly fought in the in the realm of your will before god are you more devoted to your idea of what jesus wants than to jesus himself if so you are likely to hear one of his harsh and unyielding statements that will produce sorrow in you what Jesus says is difficult. It's only easy when it's heard by those who have his nature in them, being sanctified. Beware of allowing anything to soften the hard words of Jesus in your life, and also don't butt into somebody else's life when he's speaking something difficult into their lives and you trying to be an amateur providence stepping in. We can be so rich in our own poverty or in the awareness of the fact that I am nobody, that I'll never be, be a disciple of Jesus, or I can be so rich in the awareness that I am somebody, that I'll never be a disciple. Am I willing to be destitute and poor, even in my sense of awareness of my destitution and poverty? If not, that is why I become discouraged. And discouragement is disillusioned self-love. And self-love may be love for my devotion to Jesus, but not love for him. Did you understand that? We can feel so devoted in our, in our devotion to Jesus that we fall in love with our, our own devotion to Jesus. Not him, but our ability to be devoted to him. The challenge I have today is, are we in love with our own devotion to Jesus or our church? Are we in love with our church, our devotion to our church, or is it truly, strictly a love for him first and foremost? If it is, these other things will follow. Let's pray. Father, we pray today that our love for you would be that first. And then from that, these other things will follow. Teach us today, Father, to love only you. Not our own devotion to you or how much we love you, but that we just love you. And out of these things, Father, you will show us truly what it is to follow Christ. We love you, Lord, and we give you this in Christ's name. Amen. God bless. I'll see you tomorrow.